Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and today we have a pretty cool opening. We're going to open up 10 unweighed booster packs. We have 5 first edition gym challenge, and then we have 5 base set 2. And these are all, like I said, unweighed. These were bought by the same guy. He's looking only for hollows. He kind of he did the full discount. He's a patron, so he gets a $10 discount. Then there was another uh, $5 discount for being on YouTube, and another uh, 10 additional for the pack because he's not keeping any of the bulk or the wrapper so he's just looking for holographic cards so he got five of these base set two unweighed which ends up coming out after all the discounts 95 a piece and the uh, first edition gym challenge which come out to 145 a piece after the discount but he did get the last first edition gym challenge <clears throat> so there are none of those left and um these are the ones I'm most excited about. But base set two is pretty cool. He he wanted me to open up three Mewtwo artworks. So we do have three of those. Gonna be running low on that artwork, I imagine. And um, I'm really hoping that he pulls him a Charizard. He does understand that these are really tough to get in PSA 10 condition. Base set two just seems to always be like that. Oh yeah, I usually snip these. Why am I doing it this way? I guess so that I can destroy the wrapper. So it's going to be one, two, three. This should be the rare. Let's sleeve it up. Right there. All right, let's look at the rest. So we have an energy removal, Rhyhorn, Diglett, Drowsy, we got a Charmander, base set two energy, <clears throat> which is psychic and lightning. Parasect, Poliwhirl, and Cadaver. Man, the centering looks really nice on those. Let's see for the rare. We have Venomoth. So we didn't get a hollow in that one. All right. Next pack. I'll remember to snip it this time. There we go. One, two, three, four. That one has a little bit of wear on it. Or like whitening on that bottom corner you can see right there so, let's put that right there in the background we have gust of wind squirtle tangela switch pokeball grass energy lightning energy full heal Fero, kakuna and then for the rare we have oh it's a dragon air so 0 for 2 on the hollows so far all right next up we're going to start into the mewtwo artworks One, two, three, four. Ooh, this one looks a little different. I think this one might be a hollow. Could be wrong. Let's put that in a sleeve. I'm not as familiar with the base set two stuff because we haven't opened up a whole lot of this. Oh, there we go. We got us a Pikachu. <laughs> nice. Doduo, Starmie, Rhyhorn. Got a couple more energies. Magikarp, Maintenance. Ah, oh, there we go. Charmeleon. Got another starter. So for the rare, hopefully a hollow. Oh, no, I guess it's not. It's a Snorlax. It fooled me. I thought it was. All right, so now we have World 2 pack number four. Zero for three so far. Come on, base set two. We're still chasing the Charizard in this set. As many of you know, there are a lot of low pop cards in base set two. You got Wigglytuff, which is like a pop seven. You got Clefairy, Clefable, Chansey, Pidgeot, uh, Nidoqueen. All of those are under 20. I'm trying to think if there's some other ones. Charizard, you know, isn't too high, and you know the price of it is just way up there. It's got Paris, Onyx, Rattata, Gust of Wind, Diglett, a couple more energies again, Farfetch'd, Ivysaur, and Marowak. Pack number four. Here we go. Ooh, Doug Trio. You know, we haven't hit any trainers yet. However, so far duds. No hollows. We have one more pack to go. Last chance to get us that Charizard. He had just offered me a good amount to buy my base set 2 PSA 10 Charizard and the regular base set Charizard. But I turned it down mainly because I, I don't know where there's a base set 2 Charizard at the moment. I'm hoping that um, some more of those come up in auction because they are achieving record prices right now. I saw where a base set Charizard was up to about 2k. 
you know, it, it was 15, it went to 2000, then dipped down to 1500 for a while, and then, oh, check it out, Butterfree, and then now it's back to the, um, over 2000 mark. All right, here we go. Pack number five, come on, give us a hollow. Oh, man, 0 for 5 on the hollows. Look at that. Pidgeotto, Dugtrio, Venomoth, Dragonair, and Snorlax. Got three of the original base set, and then got two from Jungle. And that was not the best, which there were. We picked out three Mewtwo artworks and then two other ones. But hopefully the videos will be saved with these last five Gym Challenge First Edition packs. If you guys remember, I would opened up or I busted a sealed box and I was selling the packs for 170 each, which I think a lot of people forgot about them because that price, I mean, compared to the box now, I mean, that's pretty good because he ended up getting, after all his discounts, getting them for 145 each. I think it's the second one from the back, if I remember correctly. We'll put that one there. And then the back card is supposed to be an energy, so we'll put that one up front. If I'm remembering this correctly, it has been a while. I know Loot just opened up some here. So hopefully, looks like I may have gotten that right. Check out Erica's Jigglypuff, Blaine's Ponyta, Giovanni's Magikarp, Koga's Tangela, Misty Psyduck, Blaine's Rawhorn, you got Cinnabar City Gem, you got Sabrina's Jinx with the purple face instead of black, you got Erica's Bileplume. All right. Hopefully we can get us some hollows because we went 0 for 5 from base set 2, which is just kind of crazy. Oh, Rocket Zapdos. Oh, look at that one. There we go. Oh, man. That looks clean. I don't see any, like, swirls in it. Man. I don't see any print line whatsoever. Let's check out the back side. See, the centering is off some. But I don't think it's enough to where it would detract, to where it would keep it from the tin. It looks like that. Is it a white dot? Yeah, I think it, it, it might actually be a little white dot. But a lot of times you see there's just a little lip, and I can't quite tell. It may not be. But it is catching in the flash. I mean, if this one did get tin, it would be because of that little dot right there. Well, that looks great. Rocket Zapta is one of my favorite cards from that set. Put that one in the background. There we go. We still have four more packs to go. And this, like I said, this had finished off the, the box. So if you were looking to get any more of these, they are now officially gone. I think what I have left for unweighed packs is Team Rocket Unlimited. And then we have, we still have some base set too. And then EX Deoxys. Well, let's look at that energy. There we go. Psychic energy. We've got Misty's Horsey, Blaine's Charmander, Koga's Ekans, Koga's Grimer, Sabrina's Ghastly, Erica's Oddish, Giovanni's Machoke, there's oh, Erica's Bellsprout, and Brock's Primate. And then for the rare, we have Koga's Muck. So didn't get a hollow in that one. So far, we are one for seven. Three packs to go. Can we make it up in these last three packs? So this is the same guy you bought four heavy. It was, was it Team Rocket Return. I think it was Team Rocket Returns that he bought four unweighed EX Deoxys. His pools, um, the holographic pools, were not that great, but he did have a good, uh, you know, ratio in that video. Let's see what we have. All right, the energy is grass. Then we have Sabrina's Porygon, Giovanni's Machop, Koga's Pidgey, Erica's Jigglypuff. I think we already had one of those. Got the Abra, Electrode, Sand Slash, and then another Cinnabar City Gym. All right, here we go. For the rare, Lane. Add it to the pile of non hollows off to the right. Two packs to go. Alright. There are some really tough pulls in Gym Challenge for PSC 10. You know, Blaine's Charizard is up there. It's over $1,000 now. Blaine's Arcanine is up there. But there's also cards like Giovanni's Persian. Uh, Koga's Beedrill is pretty expensive. I'm trying to think of what else. Rockets Mewtwo isn't isn't as expensive as you think it would be. 
believe Eric is Venusaur's gym challenge. You would think that would be uh, Gym Heroes. Here we go, Brock's Geodude. Another Blaine Charmander, pretty cool. Another Abra, Fervor, Ekans, Blaine's Rapidash, Mr. Mime, Viridian City Gym, and a Fighting Energy that we forgot to show. Okay, we need another hollow. Oh, another non hollow, Koga's Arbok. So we still have one pack to go. We've only pulled one hollow so far. Gym Challenge, first edition. The last pack from the box. I'm not sure what all has been pulled from this box. A lot of these were sold a while back. Take this card. Sleeve it up. Put it in there. Brock's Geodude, Erica's Paris. Got the Nidoran and the female as well. Voltorb, Zubat, Coughing. Oh, there's one of my favorite artworks, the Erica's Bulbasaur. So we have Dodrio and Fire Energy. All right, here we go. The last rare. Come on, give us a hollow. Oh man, Koga's Pidgeotto. Man, that's some pr some pretty rough pulls. So what I'm gonna do is I don't think I've ever done this before, but you know, one for ten. You know, that's really rough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go grab another two base set two packs, and I'm gonna just add that onto this order. Here you go. Walk over here. If you like Mewtwo artworks, but I'm pretty low on those. So I'm gonna grab a Pidgey pot and a Raichu artwork. Let's so open up ten packs and get one hollow. That's just that's just rough. <clears throat> I've seen one in six, but I've never seen one in ten. So let's try this Raichu pack. I think Loot had two for nine one time. You know that was pretty bad, but you know it, it's expected. One for ten. That's just not expected. So let's see what we get here. I don't have any more gym challenge packs that I can open up. So this is it when it comes to it. And I'll tell you what, if for whatever reason we don't get a hollow in these packs, I'm gonna keep opening packs until we get a hollow because you can't you can't can't leave from ten packs and only have one hollow. We've got Bulbasaur, Weedle, Rattata, Metapod, it kinda looks like he's got a little uh Ink Dot or something there. Charmander. Got two energies here. Nidorino, Poliwhirl, Pokemon Center. Alright. Let's see what we have. Dang, another one. So there's Kangaskhan. So hopefully, either these base set two packs are getting really loaded up, or hopefully I can open one soon because the longer I go without opening one, the more it's going to cost me as well. Alright, next pack Pidgeotto. I just got to remember how many I opened so I can take them offline. <laughs> I try to always have that kind of stuff removed offline. One, two, three, four, before I go into opening videos. And I know that these base set two packs are 100% in ways because I popped the box myself. Got Execute, Abra, Meowth, Squirtle, Machop. Got a Grass and Psychic Energy, Fero, Executor, and Seeking. Alright, here we go. Ooh, that's rough. Venomoth. What is that, 1 for 12? Alright, I will be right back to get another two packs. After I kick my camera, of course. Put that back. Alright. Looks like I'm. See, we haven't done a Gyarados artwork. And then, looks like we have the most uh, Pidgeotto still. So I'm going to grab another Pidgeotto artwork. Kind of crazy, 12 packs in. We gotta get him a base set two hollow. So let's start with this Pidgeotto artwork. Who knows, maybe he'll get two hollows out of both of these packs. I'm gonna do them in two pack segments. If we don't get a hollow soon though, I might just have to grab a heavy jungle or something. <laughs> I mean, dang. All right, one, two, three, four. Oh, this one looks a little different. I think this one's a hollow. So maybe we'll set that one off in the background. And We'll look at this one too, and we'll flip them at the same time. But let's go through the un or the commons and uncommons first. So Duo, Magnemite, Caterpie, Poliwag. Wow, look at that Jigglypuff. Got 
ink all over it. It's kind of crazy. All down the side too. All right, we've got fire energy, psychic energy, rutini, butterfree, and super potion. I'm pretty sure that's a hollow, but even if it's not, we might as well flip them at the same time. And let's do the base set to Gyarados as well. When Luke was here, I think he went four for ten on his base set two packs. Because he bought five and five, and then when they, um, <clears throat> this one does not look like a hollow, but it may be, who knows? But, and I think he opened up two hollows in the first video and two in the second video. Right, so we have Ghastly, Voltorb, I thought I saw some. Ink again, Paris, Bell Sprout, Goldeen. Couple of energies, Magmar. I think that's the first time we've seen that one. Haunter and Executor. Okay, so I think this one's a hollow, and I don't think this one is. But we'll flip them at the same time. Hopefully, he actually has a hollow so I can stop opening packs. Oh, it was a double hollow. He got Clefable and Alakazam. Okay, so I'm going to look at the Alakazam first and then the Clefable because Clefable is pretty low pop. All right, so looking at the Alakazam. I'm not actually seeing a print line on it. Base set two is really bad for print lines. The centering is off some, but is that, is that? I don't think that's actually whitening down there. So this one may have a shot too. This one isn't too bad. I think when I saw some loot boxes, they may have had like a little line to the bottom, but this one right here does not seem to have that. It could be just the angle from the camera I may look at it a little bit tighter when I get back or when I get off alright and then we also have Clefable right here like I said this one's pretty low pop I think it's under 20 the hollow looks pretty good I'm trying to get the light on it but I'm not I'm seeing maybe a print line off on this side but it's so light and on the right side that I don't think it would get counted off at PSA. The back side of this one looks pretty good too, kind of like the last card, except for that bottom left corner. There is, I hate the way it zooms out. That for sure is a white dot right there. Okay, so it took us, what, 14 packs, but we finally got three hollows. That was the worst streak I think I've ever had, one for 12. So that's why I opened up those extra packs. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you've ever had a streak this bad where uh, you went 12 packs without actually getting a single holo or only one holographic card. Because for me, that's pretty crazy. And I actually, I mean, if you just did base set two, I mean, it was what, zero for seven? It's like, wow. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll have another video out very soon. Thanks.